Netherlands double skulls and Italy, Austria, Norway, Switzerland, Poland and Ireland lined up on the start. We'll see a replay of that start very shortly. And there you see all the scholars getting off to a clean start. And as we watch them move away, they are down the course a little bit in between the 500 and the 1,000. And we will pick them up. And there are the Polish double, Derez and Doricek, leading the race at 1,000 metres. So Derez and Doricek took the win in Lucerne in this event really experienced scholars so lightweight sculling lightweight women's sculling the crew average so the crew the average of the two scholars has to be less than 57 kilograms and neither scholar can weigh more than 59 kilograms so these are the smaller athletes in the regatta and it's the polish crew getting the better of the rest of the field as they come up to the halfway point so this is the italian duo cesarini and rodini in second place yeah the two Italians uh, Rodini furthest away from you in the bows 23 years of age and uh, she's really just 22 years of age from the uh, Canottieri Gavarati club where up there in Varese where the Australians have their European training centre they had a fantastic result in Linz not quite in the in the running here so far but uh, they will put a lot of pressure on the poles Doricek and Derez both from Warsaw Derez in the bows on the right of your picture the older of the two, 32 years of age and uh, Joanna Doricek just 26 they haven't been together in the double all this season the poles have been mixing and, mixing and matching trying to find the fastest combination this Swiss double we can see back in the picture, Mertz and Roll, coached again by Robin Dow, the British coach, had a fantastic Lucerne regatta. They got a bronze medal in that. It was a really tough event, and uh, for them to come through for a bronze medal in the World Cup that happened three weeks ago was a fantastic achievement. Two scholars there, Mertz from Zeklub Zug, just in between Lucerne and Zurich, and uh, Frédéric Roll from French Peak in Switzerland in Lausanne. There you can see Roll in the stroke seat. Really strong in the core, aren't they? Really sort of particularly Roll in the stroke seat. Just tracking the Italians. And, uh, well, one through to final aid. So the pole's in that position. So we have around about 700 metres to go. A little bit of steering issue there. The Swiss just trying to find a straight run down the lane. They are coming edging back into it, the Swiss. I mean, I fancy the Swiss might have a little look in with, with just 500 metres to go. Yeah, they seem to be really dynamic there in that Swiss double, dynamic in how they open up the body. They've got a lot of attack on it. Yeah, they, they're very patient at the front end. They don't open up the body and then they just get hold of the water and then they open up their body against the hips and really lever yeah. the boat through. And, you know, centimetre by centimetre, the Swiss are coming back on the Italians, on the Polish, sorry. They've got uh, just, well, 10, 10 centimetres a stroke quicker. You can see that number four from the Swiss boat just edging back. The Italians are not out of it, Rodini and Cesarini are coming through together with the Swiss and the Poles are really, really under pressure. Derez and Doricek from Warsaw. Every single stroke they are losing ground to the Italians at the top of your picture and the Swiss are getting a toe off the Italians. So now the picture changes and I think Italy must be the favourites to take gold. But what have the Poles got left in the locker? Italy absolutely moving through here. They just keep looking over to their left to see the damage they're doing on the Polish crew. Looking really strong up there in lane one. Here come the chance from the crowds for the Swiss crew. The poles still hanging on to that first place. They're really under pressure now from the Italians and the Swiss. The poles have found an extra gear though. They've really increased their speed. They're now moving at the same speed as the Italians. They're going in for the sprint. They've got about three or four metres, the Italians, the Swiss desperate to get through the Italians. All of these crews are still in the race. They all know there's one through to the final. Sometimes they've got to throw the towel in, not go to the line. The Swiss are still hoping. The Poles are looking for the line. There's uh, the Polish bow woman, Veronica Derez, desperately looking round. 
Italians have taken it up again, but the Poles still got the better of them. Swiss are going up as well. So as we come to the line, Poland take the first place. It's Switzerland ahead of Italy. The Swiss did come through, but not enough to take the Poles. And um, that was a right old race between those three great doubles, wasn't it, in the yeah, first cool. heat? Cork of a race there. Fourth place coming through in lane six is the Irish duo, Aoife Casey and East Walsh. Yeah, view here of the Polish double, so that's Deris and Dorachak. Seven minutes, eight seconds to take the win in that first heat of the lightweight women's double skulls. They really slowed down in that third quarter, didn't they? But then they managed to find the extra sprints just in the last quarter. I thought the other doubles would really just carry on moving through, but the Poles wouldn't let them have it. Yeah, they really responded.